This is 2007 AP Physics um, B exam and um, follow the link to see how the gradient went for this problem as well as try to solve the question pause it and try to answer the questions before I solve them for you so like for A and B and C I'm not going to tell you to pause but whenever you feel like it's time to pause pause and try to solve yourself first so the problem says in the circuit above a 12 volt battery is connected to two resistors one resistance of 1000 ohm and the other of resistance 500 ohm a capacitor with a capacitance of 30 10 to the negative 6 farad 30 microfarad is connected in parallel with 5 ohm resistor the circuit has been connected for a long time and all circuits have reached their steady uh, states and for a they ask calculate the current in the 5 ohm resistor so pause it look at your a b c and d you can see three of them right now on on the screen try to solve as many as you can before you follow um, my videos and then um, watch my videos and see how many you got right so when this they say the circuit has been connected for a long time that means the charges um, on the capacitor is fully charged so if um, there were so many charges on this side of the positive side this one is also fully charged and all these ones are exactly matching that side so that means there's going to be no current and the current goes from positive to negative so there will be no current floating um, through the capacitor all the current is going to go through two resistors so it's the same as having this part disconnected and all I have to do is two resistors in series so if I'm looking for the current I'm going to use Ohm's law V is equal to time I times R so my current is equal to V is 12 and total resistance is 1500 and that gives me the current of point zero zero eight amps or eight milliamps for v part they ask to draw an ammeter in the circuit above in locations such that it could measure the current in the five ohm resistor use the symbol um, ammeter for indicating ammeter and then draw a voltmeter in circuit above in a location such as it could measure the voltage across the thousand ohm resistor use the symbols v and i and um, the voltmeter is indicated so if you're uh, drawing an ammeter the current flows in this direction so ammeter is always needs to be connected into the circuit you would have to break this circuit right here and insert an ammeter so i'm going to insert an ammeter inside right here and it should read the current that we just calculated and if i need to measure the voltage on thousand ohm resistor the voltmeter is always measured parallel to the resistor or um, device that you're trying to measure it on and so the voltmeter is going to parallel to 1000 ohm resistor for c they say calculate the charge stored on the capacitor so i know the formula for the capacitance is how much charge stored when a certain potential difference is applied so if i knew the potential difference between two points um on or how much potential volt potential difference is dropped on 500 ohm resistor then that is exactly the same voltage because capacitor is parallel um, to 500 ohm resistor so if i can calculate that voltage that is i which is 10 to the negative 3 times 500 so the voltage right there is equal to 4 volts so i know that this is 4 volts the capacitance is given so i can find the charge so the charge is given equal to it is the capacitance which is 30 10 to the negative 6 times the voltage which is 4 and that gives me 120 microcoulombs in capacitance is measured in microcoulombs so i have 120 microcoulombs here next part they ask you to calculate the power dissipated by um, 
1000 ohm resistor so if you calculate the power you need uh, i squared r or i times v so but you have that so we can do i squared is um, 8 10 to the negative 3 squared and times 1000 so it looks like I'm gonna get 64 10 to the negative 3 watts so that would be the answer for D and for uh, the rest of the problem for E the capacitor is now discharged and the 5 ohm resistor is removed and replaced with a resistor of greater resistance. The circuit is reconnected and currents are again allowed to come to their steady state values. Is the charge now stored on the capacitor larger, smaller, or the same as it was in part C? So when you connect a larger resistor instead of 500 ohm resistor, so let's say I'm gonna connect the 1000, ohm resistor 1000 ohm my current is going to drop so before it was 8 milliamps now it's going to be less than 1 8 milliamps so because i have the current so the current goes in this direction and that direction and it reached equilibrium so your capacitor is still disconnected from the circuit so the current is equal to still 12 volts divided by the total resistance in our case is going to be 2000 ohm so your current is going to be smaller. If the current is smaller, they ask, um, before I had, let me draw it right here. Before I had right here, um, the voltage in that part was equal to I 10 to the negative three times the resistance, which is 1000. And that gave me eight volts. But now my current, my current, dropped if the current dropped then i'm not going to have eight volts in this resistor anymore dropping i'm going to have smaller voltage drop in there that means i'm going to have larger voltages dropped over there because the total voltage i have is 12. so the voltage dropped here and the voltage dropped here on both voltmeters should give me 12. so if i have less than 12 in this voltmeter then I have, will have more than four volt in that one because before we had four, correct? We calculated somewhere. So before it was four. So that means I have more voltage here and the charge is equal to the capacitance times the voltage. So if the voltage in this dropped on this resistor is increasing now, that means the charge on the capacitor is also increasing so your answer for part e would be um on the same so is the charge now stored on the capacitor larger larger so you would say larger because the voltage on dropped on that resistor is increasing so the voltage across these two points is higher which gives you higher number over here and gives you a higher charge.